a young elite from a top company. It's a good thing I dumped you. A poor owner of a third-rate company. Um, that's good for you. Congratulations. I never thought I would get such a condescending comment from my ex at the wedding. But the next moment, her face would turn pale. My name is Kohei Itoi. I met my ex, Akemi, when we were in college. Kohei? You're a college student and you're building a company? Amazing! No, no, I'm not that amazing. I liked app games so much that I created my own games and started running my own business. When I told everyone about it, I was approached by Akemi, who was famous for her beauty. <laughs> now my future is set as a CEO's wife. Good, very good. My plan seems to be going well. Uh, what? What's that? <laughs> it's nothing. Hey, you want to hang out with me? I have a movie I want to see. Looking back now, there were signs that Akemi was a dangerous woman, but at the time, I couldn't see it. A year after we started dating, Akemi's attitude changed in a very obvious way. It was when I released my first RPG game after starting my own company. It was a work I was very proud of, but... Oh no, it's not being downloaded as much as I had expected. I was shocked when I saw the results. The reviews were all scathing, and my first game app was a complete failure. Huh? Failed? What do you think you're doing? Are you trying to humiliate me? Well, um, sorry. I mean, why are you so angry? Of course I'm angry. I have a plan for my life. Get married in my late 20s. My husband makes at least 10 million yen a year. Living on the top floor of a tower. I'm going to lead a luxurious life while continuing to look down on the housewives in my neighborhood. Well, that's a very concrete plan, but the motive is too evil. Shut up! And your annual income turns out to be low? Oh, I've wasted a whole year! I'm dumping you now. I mean, if you can't make the first product work, you'll never succeed. You're not a good manager either, so just quit the company. Uh, Akemi. And so she left me with a mocking smile on her face. Damn, that's frustrating. But maybe she's right that I'm not talented. It started out as a hobby. Ever since I was in junior high, I wanted to make an ideal game, and I was able to make that dream come true. But I was naive. Even if I could get the game out into the world, it would be meaningless if it didn't sell well. The reality is harsh. I might not make it. Just when I was about to give up. He hello, Itoi. Ah, uh, Hamada-san? Her name is Mina Hamada. We belong to the same extracurricular club, but she's a very plain girl and I have rarely talked to her. So I was a little surprised when she talked to me. Uh, what's the matter? Oh, um, actually, I played a game that you made the other day. Oh, really? Do you play games like that? Yes, I'm quite a nerd. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't know that. So, what do you think? The game I made. Well... There are too many bugs. It made me think you started the development without much planning.
<sighs> and the story is also full of inconsistencies. To be honest, I couldn't immerse myself in the story. <sighs> Hamada-san is surprisingly harsh. Uh, I guess I don't have the talent to make RPG games. Even though that's what I wanted to make the most. Oh, I'm sorry. I just got carried away. It's my bad habit to criticize things too much. When it comes to games, I'm the kind of person who argues until the wee hours of the morning with anonymous players. Only online, though. I think it's better not to tell people about that side of you. Ah! What did I say? Please pretend you didn't hear that. She's more unique than I thought. Um, so, I've seen the reviews of your game. Oh, they are terrible, aren't they? But that's the user's honest opinion. I guess people just don't want someone like me making games. But, but, their slandering is over the top. So I fought the haters, you know, until the morning. How much does she fight day and night? She must be one hell of a fighting tribe online. There were a lot of interesting things about the setting and the structure, so I don't want you to give up. So, Will you let me help you develop games? Oh, Hamada-san! You can make games? Actually, I studied programming on my own because I wanted to make my own games. But I didn't have the courage to start by myself. That's why it's really great that you have the energy to take action. Hamada-san... I get it. I'll give it another try. Her words gave me courage when I was on the verge of losing my confidence. And so, I decided to work with her to create an RPG game once again from scratch. The quality of the story is important. Let's think of ways to create small riddles and other ways to keep people from getting bored. Also, let's upgrade the game engine you're using. It's going to be easier to find the cause of bugs and you can reduce the production time. I see. I'm really learning a lot. The other important thing is the character. This heroine looks somewhat like a Kami, doesn't she? I wasn't aware of it, but, um, are you somehow angry about that? I'm not, but let's change the heroine to someone who wears glasses and looks plain at first glance, but is actually an online debater. Isn't that way too unique? I'm sure everyone will make a joke out of it. That's not true. I've already thought of the winning line. That's just your personal opinion, isn't it? Is that really gonna be a good winning line? For some reason, things got heated over the heroine. But here, I used the president's authority to reject her idea with all my might. And so the development of the game proceeded. After all, the plan proceeds more smoothly with two people. However, when Akemi heard that I was working on the game again, she made fun of me. I told you, you have no talent, but you're still working hard? And you're making it with that plain glass Hamada-san? You two shady guys should get married together. Bye-bye! Damn. That's frustrating, hey, Hamada-san? Marriage? Marriage, huh? <laughs> Hamada-san? Oh, I'm sorry. I have a habit of fantasizing easily. 
As expected of you. But I'm sorry. It's my fault she made fun of you too. And don't worry about it. No matter what she says, I'm having the time of my life right now. With Hamada-san's support, a year and a half later, we were finally able to complete the game! Finally! We've come this far! I'm about to cry now! Thank you so much, Hamada-san, for getting us this far! But I wish I met you sooner! Well, that's because you were dating a Kemi-chan at that time. Her voice was too low to be heard, but she was filled with a sense of accomplishment after getting the job done. Then the game was released, and we learned the results later. Today, several years later, I'm at Akemi's wedding. Apparently, she married an elite employee of some tech startup. I really didn't want to go, but I received an invitation, so I had no choice but to attend. What do you think? As I declared, I got this guy in his late 20s. Living in a tower and making 10 million yen a year. I was right to dump you as soon as I could. <laughs> Seriously, this girl never changes. By the way, is that Hamada-san, the plain glasses girl, still with you? That woman disgusts me. I went to the trouble of inviting her to my wedding, but she turned me down, saying she had work to do. Oh yeah, she did have something she couldn't miss. Oh well, that's okay. I got the congratulatory money anyway, and the venue was going to get gloomy if she were here anyway. Listen to what I'm saying! You can talk bad about me, but not about her. Oh? What's the matter? Don't tell me you have the hots for that girl. You're a sucker for weird things. I never understood what she was thinking. She's always grinning while looking at her phone. Well, that hasn't changed, but... She's the most serious, hardworking, respectful person than anyone else. So, when you badmouth someone like her, I'm not gonna keep quiet. Wh what the? Ugh! You're just a poor manager of a third rate company, though. You don't make much money anyway, do you? Even in the same tech industry, this guy's income is much more stable and promising than you. Come on, you should tell him your salary. Uh, Akemi, don't you know this person? Huh? What? This guy's a loser, that's all. What are you talking about? This person is a famous president with an annual income of 100 million yen. What? Oh, I'm sorry. We've just met and the first thing I talked about is your income. But more importantly, I never expected to meet you, sir, on such an auspicious day. I am Yuta Kawasaki, a system engineer at eGator. Oh, you're from eGator. Well, well. Thank you for doing business with us all the time. Oh, please. Thank you. Actually, I'm a big fan of your games. So, I am really honored to meet you. Wait a minute. What? You two know each other? President Itoi is the creator of an RPG game that became a huge hit a few years ago. So eGator has tied up with President Itoi's company since last year. Thanks to that, we're making huge profits! Yes, the RPG app game that Hamada and I created together was a great hit! 
it was soon released for overseas markets as well, resulting in over 500 million downloads. It has now become a series and one of the most famous RPG apps of all time. What? 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 So you mean Kohei created an amazing game after that? Did I, by any chance, miss out on the golden opportunity? Um, she suddenly started to get deranged. But still, I never thought Akemi was married to an employee of a partner company. I felt some kind of a strange fate. Hey, Yuta! You should build your own company now! And you have to make a billion a year! Wh what are you saying? There's no way I can become better than a toy san No! I want money! I want to look down on people! What is this bride making a fuss about on such a big day? A few months later, Akemi and Yutaku seem to have divorced. Well, who would want a wife like that? But what's more surprising was what happened after that. Uh, Akemi? This is my company, remember? <laughs> Let's start over again. Make me a rich woman. You're way too scary. It was when Akemi, who was pressuring me to get back with her, was scaring me. Stop! Don't get any closer to him. Who is this beautiful woman? Wait! Hamada-san? It's been a while, Akemi-chan. I'm sorry I couldn't make it to your wedding. I'll try to make it next time. Ugh! What a sarcasm. You've changed your look a lot, huh? You thieving cat! You're the one who dumped him. Anyway, if you go any closer to him, I'll call the police. You! You be! It seems Hamada's words gave her a final blow, and Akemi disappeared in frustration. Since then, I hear she has been on an aimless journey in pursuit of a billionaire. Would you have a chat with me? Huh? Wait, why are you ignoring me? And of course, no man will take such a woman as a bride. It's pathetic what happens to a woman who only wants money from men. Here, Yutakun, it's done! Oh, whoa, thank you very much! Your grilled meat is exceptional! Meanwhile, my company is continuing a tie-up with a company that Yutakun is with, and the business is going well. We've also become friends and attend barbecues held at my company. And Yuta has recently been getting along well with a girl who works at my company. We both fell for the wrong girl, but I sincerely wish him happiness. By the way, what about you, President Itoi? Um, about what? It's obvious, isn't it? I'm talking about your wedding with Hamada-san. What? What are you surprised at? You've been together for years. You should make up your mind. No, um, well, I'm not quite ready yet. How long are you going to make me wait? M Mina. I've had a crush on you for a long time. And I confessed my feelings to you and we finally got together. Are you going to make me say it again? Whoa, I get it, I get it. Mina. Please marry me! <laughs> yes, 
Let's be happy together. Yeah! Hooray! And so Mina and I got married, and my employees gave us their blessing. I am the one I am today thanks to Mina. She believed in my talent more than anyone else, and that's why I was able to get back on my feet even when I failed. I sometimes feel insecure about running a big company, but with her, I'm sure I'll be able to keep on moving forward.